Hello there, it's Diana from Reiki Moon. Welcome at my next episode of the Healing To Go series, where I give you some ideas on how you can take energy healing with you into your everyday life when you are on the go and keeping busy. Today, I would like to invite you to a very quick three minutes break time. I think we all need that. And I'm sure you know exactly what I'm talking about when you receive an email and that makes you feel super stressed out or anything may happen during your working hours or even in any parts of your life during the day. So let's imagine that you just received an email. Here is my laptop and um, we all have that, right? When something appears up on your screen and you're like, oh my God, what I'm doing next? Let's sort this out quickly. This is super urgent. Um, obviously it is, I'm not saying it's not. And you, it's something that needs to be picked up and dealt with straight away. And what I'm telling you, don't do it straight away. Give yourself a break, get out into the fresh air, give yourself three minutes to relax your mind, get your focus back, get your clarity back because you need to step away from the issue to see the problem clearly so you don't jump straight into it because your brain switches into this flight or fight mode and you are just losing your creativity and that's what we need here. So come on, let's get out, see the sun, get some fresh air. You should always have three minutes. No matter how urgent it is, three minutes of your life, you can do that. Trust me. So let's go. See you outside. Bye. Why are you still there? You too. Come on. And check this out. I just missed the sun, but I'm in London, so it's really not the city of guaranteed sunshine, right? <laughs> anyway, the point is that we are out having some nice fresh air and we are taking these couple of minutes just to refresh our mind and to distance ourselves from the problem so we can recharge our creativity and strength. How do we start? Always start with a nice breathing exercise. So you, all you have to do, you bring your attention to your breathing rhythm, taking proper deep inhales all the way down so you can feel your belly is lifting up and exhaling first just enjoy the amazing relaxing effect of simply breathing walking enjoying the fresh air outside wherever you are take a couple of deep inhales and exhales as you know this is where you actually start recharging your body here is a little cute puppy hello <laughs> i have a new body here there we go <laughs> It's a nice distraction to have also because <laughs> that was actually my next point to find a good distraction if you don't have a nice cute dog around in your area then uh, bring a couple of nice memories into your mind it could be any of your success stories so rather than thinking of oh my god what i'm doing next while you're taking this break you've done your breathing exercise then think about a couple of couple of stories where you achieved something and you were proud of yourself. I'm sure you know exactly what I mean. And as soon as you think about it, you are there, you're bringing back that level of self-confidence and you see yourself how it was in the past after you achieved something and you've done something brilliant. So while you bring that back to your mind, I give you another suggestion. You place one of your hands onto your stomach area right there which is the area of the solar plexus chakra which stands for your self-esteem your confidence uh, it's really helpful if you channel energy into that particular point of your body if you would like to work on your can-do attitude on your focus in general uh, to give yourself more willpower to get through your day so you can carry on with doing your breathing exercise just hold on to that point you can visualize a happy moment in your life wherever you were any success stories and you just carry on walking nicely and what what works here what is exactly happening so basically it's the intention of the brain and that is the magical point here uh, your brain is a lot more powerful than you would think and I'm pretty sure we don't even understand exactly what is happening there but basically you're switching in a special button on your mind by simply setting your intention towards healing towards recharging uh, whatever you need 
basically the intention is the key word here. If you're outside in the nature, setting your intention towards a specific goal or just saying simply, I'm taking a break, I'm taking a little bit of me time, then that's all you have to keep in your mind while doing this exercise. Hold that point on your stomach and feel how the stress is nicely leaving your body, releasing. Maintain a nice, slow walking rhythm, whatever is comfortable for you. And just notice the trees, the nature around you. Hopefully you have some trees <laughs> wherever you walk. And just really notice you can, again, use grounding techniques for uh, giving your brain a bit of break of the daily rush and madness by simply noticing what you have around you, notice the sounds, the nature, and just connect. You're connected with yourself, holding the hand there, setting the intention, and giving yourself a bit of break. Nothing more needs to be done. I know it sounds simple, but it's so powerful. You would think that, oh my God, I can't give myself three minutes break. I need to get this done. But you know what happens after you have that done? The next thing appears straight away. And that's how you never stop. That's how you are in that vicious cycle constantly. And you can actually work a lot more towards your creativity and use your time if you give yourself a little bit of break. If you've seen other videos of mine, you will notice uh, the message I give about giving your mind a bit of break because it helps to connect with your body and you just allow your body to do its own magic to restore balance in your energy body because your body knows exactly what needs to be done. It's doing it for you. But while you're stressing, while you are actually in your everyday madness and bringing up negative emotions, um, fear, any other negative emotions that may arise in your everyday routine, that's where you are actually blocking it. You're blocking your uh, body's own natural healing abilities and your own potential. Not just on a daily basis, but in life in general, if you think about it. And if you make a single tiny step every single day, you will make a huge, huge difference in the long run. So make sure you treat yourself, you give yourself a bit of break time when you feel like it's needed. Obviously, I don't mean after every single email you need to rush out into the nature. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't do that, right? If we want to keep our jobs. So it's not what I mean. But uh, when there is an extreme situation, you will notice that, oops, this is the one I told you about. Get out, get some fresh air and heal yourself. You can sit down if you see a nice bench anywhere. I like that piece of chunky wood. Let's take a seat there a little bit. And you can do a bit of mind and body scan as well. Just to notice what's happening inside of you or do a bit of mini meditation in the nature if you have a couple of more seconds to stay outside. Just connecting with yourself. You can still hold on to your stomach and just breathe in all the positive energy of the universe, setting the intention for the healing, for opening up and allowing for things to come to you. You simply bring your awareness and attention to the top of your head, your crown chakra, and this is how you're actually connecting to the universal energy outside of you. How do you know it's active? Anyone, everyone has slightly different uh, feeling about it. I usually feel a little bit of tinkling sensation uh, or like a little bit of goosebumps. We all feel something slightly different, a little bit of warmth building up. Uh, you don't need to stress about it. When you try to do it, all you have to do is you just tell yourself that I open up to the healing universal energy and then the rest will happen automatically. You just have to trust it and just enjoy its amazing calming effect. Allow your mind to take a bit of break time and when you return to your home office or office, then you can enjoy the new yourself 
feeling more recharged, refreshed and get back. Let's do it. I want to make sure that you can reach your goals and I hope that it helped you. If you enjoyed it and if you found it useful, please subscribe to my channel here to the Healing to Go series and also feel free to reach out to me on the email info at reikimove.com. Take care, have a lovely day, bye.